believe this is one of the spots where Mary Lamont would have possibly met, possibly just came, because according to my sources, um, and it is detailed, that she would come and collect sand. Um, I'll be able to get the exact reason why when I get back home and I'll put it in the notes. Obviously at some point this would have been a, a gate or some sort of border. Could this be one of the places that she mentioned? But I'm going to take you up to where I think she um, said that she practiced, I believe, and that's called the Book Gate. This is me. I'm in Crow Hill. Um, and this, I believe, I'm just going to walk in. I've literally just asked them to help me find it. And it was just to the side of me. It's a very quiet. Peaceful kind of feeling about here. These are all very rock, very, very atmospheric. Now I was told by our given house, they believe that um, the book gate, which nobody has appeared to be able to find, they believe it's in Crow Hill, which is where I am. Now, I had a look in a directory uh, online somewhere, I can't remember where. And I put in Book Gate and the translation came up for a sheep pen, a sheep's gate, and that there is where the sheep are kept. Normally during the day they would be they would be out. But I definitely definitely get if you I'll turn around and let you see my view. My big brother will be here now. You'll see him in a sec. There he is. <laughs> this definitely seems as if it's somewhere that people would have came. Um, just maybe to practice nature. It seems very, a lot of the rocks seem to be kind of almost like altars, pulpits type, you know, quite substantial size rocks, kind of viewpoints, especially this one here, we'll look at this. And if I just go up onto that, you're kinda, you would be the same, I would imagine you would be, as a viewpoint, you would be the centre of everything. People would possibly be looking up to them, they would possibly be reaching out to others, but that there is definitely a sheep pen. And I just get the feeling this is the right place. So hopefully, after all these years, we'll find out what possibly has been the centre of a lot of the activity or a lot of the stories.
It's a beautiful place. The trees are, you know, they're huge. Listen to that silence. And this is just up from the gate that I took you to a moment ago.